maybe as a challenge eh, maybe not i was gonna say maybe i could fly into my car maybe that's not a good idea though eh? <laughs> if it misses it might actually damage my car so let's forget about that uh so that, yeah uh, i think it's time to do one last run blue light flashing white light flashing into the uh, screen and all right we'll just wait till it turns yellow up here it's pretty hot out right now even though it's uh, past seven o'clock still pretty hot sweating oh there, there we go all right so let's turn it on get behind it so it's not going to us but I will go in front of it <laughs> okay it's circling again I'm not quite sure how to make it stop from circling uh, maybe if somebody watches this they could tell me what they do when theirs circles uncontrollably uh, oh sorry I don't know if uh, you saw all that or not uh, yeah, I have, I'm not controlling it right now, and it's circling right into the garbage, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Uh, bring it this way. Uh, don't hit the garbage. <laughs> All right. Uh, turn it around. Go forward. Uh, I barely see the sun's in my eyes. All right. So let's uh, turn it to face forward. It's descending without me telling it to. So I'm not sure what's going on there. All right. Uh, you can see me on this. Yeah, there we go centered now a little bit all right so the uh, battery is on red now so I'm gonna bring it in to the cement area before it decides to crash and hopefully uh, I can have it make it do a safe landing uh, again I'm not controlling it and it's going all over the place uh, so uh, I'm gonna bring it down. Right now it's over the garbage, so I want to bring it over a little bit. And uh, over this way, over this way. There we go. Let's bring it down. All right. Uh, I think I need to go forward a little bit. Forward. So I wanted to land on the cement. And uh, we'll press the landing thing, and here we go. Safe landing. All right, so uh, that's it for today. The battery is really, really, uh, oh my gosh, that's too many cameras on me. Okay, yeah, so the battery is really low. I'm not sure if you can see it in here. It's the red thing right there. Uh, so we're gonna turn it off. I turned this off, and uh, yeah, that's the episode today. Hey, right. so it looks like uh, I'm getting the hang of things. So, next episode, I hope that I can be in my car. And have it follow me without actually controlling it because it is able to do that uh, it has a follow me thing on it I'm not exactly sure what it's called but uh, yeah that's a cool thing about this I guess and the reason why I found that out is because I've watched some youtubers and uh, 
they uh they have uh like these way up high uh sorry about that they have these way up high uh aerial shots of them driving and stuff and i'm like how do they do that and i found out that they have drones to do it so all right uh so uh, i guess that's the episode uh i'm gonna this is today is uh friday and it's july 24th so i'm gonna actually i already have three or four three I think three videos uh, loaded for today. So I'm going to wait till Saturday morning to load this up. So when you see this, this is actually tomorrow. And hopefully get some batteries uh, done up. Um, looks like my drone is actually... Or sorry, my GoPro is actually coming pretty low in memory and battery life. So uh, I'll have to do some deleting of videos and stuff like that of the past. And... Uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, so, uh, one more thing. Uh, so I was talking about a little bit about this uh, earlier today, about the Ottawa market, and uh, something I was actually going to do if it came through was uh, show you the process of uh, buying a house. Now, the house that I bid on, I did at asking price. I had my suspicion that it wouldn't go through, but I didn't think it was gonna go as high as it did. Uh, they were asking 239,900 for a two bedroom, one bathroom, or two bedroom, two bathroom, I can't remember. It's either one bathroom or one and a half bathrooms, I can't remember, but it was two bedrooms. And uh, I figured it was gonna go about 270 or something like that. And uh, the walls really needed painting done and stuff like that and because uh, it was a mustard yellow and it just didn't look really nice I wanted to paint it a little bit uh, so it ended up selling for 325,000 85,000 over asking price and one of the reasons why I actually did this tonight was because I was actually really frustrated with the result I wasn't frustrated that I didn't get it because I kind of figured I wasn't gonna get it I'm just getting really frustrated with uh, with the uh, buyers I guess that are putting these outrageous bids and then they ask why is the Ottawa market so high because you make it high that's basically what it comes down to is people are making it high and uh, uh, that's why it's high right now it's absolutely ridiculous how much I mean basically if you want if you're home, uh, if you're thinking of selling your home, put it on for a dollar. See what happens. I'm sure you'll get about like three hundred thousand for it because people be like, but they they just put whatever the heck they want, whatever they they're approved for, and they uh, put max it max it out. So a one bed or two bedroom, one and a half bathroom uh, condo with condo fees of two hundred. Seventy dollars about no garage, uh, no special incentive with the with the condo fees is now three hundred twenty five thousand. That's the going rate uh, for a condo in Chapel Hill, Orleans. It's it's unbelievable. Um, I don't know what else to say. So I'm gonna end this video because it's already twenty minutes long. So uh, this is going to be on two different uh, videos. But uh, anyways, uh, COVID's going a little bit around again. So please stay safe. And uh, till uh, next time, uh, I'll see you then if the good Lord willing. Good night.